Hey guys, we're back, and we're talking about something that's been around for the past five years, and that is the Canon EOS R. I know what you're thinking. The Canon EOS R, why would I be talking about this? Because it is something that has been on my mind. It's one of my favorite cameras that I own that a lot of people actually have not given credit for, and I know it's kind of like long overdue, for even talking about this considering it's five years but how is it and how does it perform in 2023 and an EOS R this guy right here literally my favorite camera and yes I like it even more than the R6 for multiple different reasons at least when it comes to video but I do like the R6 that I will always have a special place in my heart for this one the answer is simple that actually performs extremely well the 4k that comes out of the Canon EOS R is something that cannot be trifled with. The Canon EOS R came out in 2018, so that dates it now to five years. In essence, this camera is a mirrorless 5D Mark IV, just revamped and amped up from its original predecessor. It sports something that many people tend to overlook, comparing it to newer cameras. The thing I'm talking about is Kodak in 4K. It has a crop factor. The funny thing is though, one of the most well-known cinema cameras made by Canon with an RF mount is the Canon C70. It's literally a natural cropped camera and that's exactly what Canon's approach was when they made the Canon EOS R with the crop 4K because even though they said it actually has better image quality in the center of the image than say the entire full readout. The 4K bitrate, 480 megabit per second readout for its 4K 30 and 4K 24 frame rates. I think that is something that is overlooked completely by many videographers. It is competing with other high-end 4K cameras. 4K footage out of this actually is so usable, you just need to accommodate accordingly for the crop. This camera is on par with the R5. It's literally half the price, if maybe a third of the price and you are getting so much value for your money. It even has a 30 megapixel sensor for photos. The Canon EOS R is one of the only cameras that shoot all eye as opposed to IPB only. The fact that it has never overheated once. Canon actually addressed that to a lot of people when they asked for IBIS. The issue that Canon was gonna have was simple. It was the fact that if they put IBIS in their cameras, it's going to overheat. Now people are complaining about the wobble and warping when it comes to the ultra wide lenses. The firmware fixed that a little bit from years ago, but it didn't fix it perfectly. So the R8 and the R have this thing called digital stabilization or EIS. So the electronic image stabilization is something that I personally think is better than in-body image stabilization or IBIS actually keeps it perfectly tack sharp and stable. So what I'm trying to say is EOS R has been so underrated for years and yet Canon still makes them for Canada. Apparently there's support going all the way to 2029. So anybody that has a Canon EOS R, you're in luck because no matter what, they're still going to be able to release new lenses that are going to be compatible. If you're needing any tech support, they will be able to fix it if you could send it into them. This camera is super underrated and yet, in my opinion, is one of the best cameras to date at an affordable price, weather sealed, the video specs are on par, the codecs are under the roof awesome, your digital IS, and like I said, no overheating. I mean, you can't go wrong. No overheating? Yeah, I'll take a camera that doesn't overheat. I have used this camera to film weddings numerous times over. It has not failed me once. In fact, I've, I do hybrid coverage for weddings, so I do photo and video. In fact, I'd probably have a dead battery before the camera itself completely craps out. So really, this camera is a bargain. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you want to. Feel free. All right, see you later. Take care.